Okay, so, um, basically today we are going to be doing zombie apocalypse tag. Okay, so the first question is, which three YouTubers I would pick to be able, you know, pick for, um, the apocalypse? Um, well, to be honest, I think I'd have to pick is, um, uh, I'd pick... Amber, Amber's Closet, um, I would also pick, uh, what's the, what was her name, what was her name, Miranda, I would pick Miranda, I would pick, um, also her boyfriend, I forgot what was his name, but I have his channel, Josh, I would pick Josh, Miranda, and, um, Amber's Closet, because they're the best, and those are the three channels I always watch when I'm bored and I have nothing to do. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check their channels out, that's beat awesome. The weapon, it says the next question will be, well it's not actually a question, but it says the net, the object next, next to you on the left is the object you're going to use in the apocalypse. Now on the left I have my bed, I have um, charger, but it wasn't on my left. And I have this thing that was on the side. Now, which one of those three should I pick? This, the charger, or the bed? The bed's not gonna help me, okay? It can't move. As you can see, I believe I'm going to pick this one. The reason why I should pick this one is because basically, you know what they say? They say that um, you have to basically on their head make sure you get their skull or something and their brain um and smash it and i believe this has this has a bigger chance on me being able to live than um uh, a torture and a bed being this one so imagine me with miranda josh and amber all together and i have this to protect myself of course, you know, in real life, I can use another thing to be able to protect myself in that matter. Who would I bite? If I had a chance to bite someone, and I had the chance to be a zombie, and I, I was a zombie, who would I bite? Who would I bite? I would bite, um, Hannah Montana. You know, Miley Cyrus. I would like to bite her. So she can be my buddy. And... We can go ahead and bite other people and get them to be on our side. Yep. I'm obsessed with Hannah Montana. Um, what would my survival plan be? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think that my survival plan would be stay in the house, okay? I would stay in the house, make sure to, like, close all the windows, of course. Oh, man, when the hair is wet, you can't do nothing about it. Anyways, uh, make sure the windows are closed, make sure to get as much wood as you can to cover up the windows. Um, like, make sure to um, guard everything and make sure to have a backup plan just in case they get inside. Um, to be honest, if I was older and I would have the, enough money to be able to build something, um, I think I would... Oh my gosh. Okay. If I was older and I would be able to pick something, um, we, well, be able to like buy stuff, then I would buy... Um, I would make my own house. I would make sure to have the house from the bottom. I would have a, a basement from the bottom, which can travel through which can have like a little tunnel where I can go to another room and then another room if you know what I mean. One room would be like for zombie purposes only and then another room would be like for like um, terrorism you know bombs coming down and I would go down that room and then be there and that would be for that room. Another room would be for um, for what was it? Aliens attacking the world. I would have another room for that to make sure I have guns and everything, just like in the other side. Um, um, 
and I would like to, if I would have, if I would be so obsessed with that, and I believe I could be, um, I'll be back. So, um, how do you say this? Uh, what's the next part? Um, it says, what would you do? What would you do if your parents became zombies? That would be a nightmare. Because, you know, imagine this, people. You would expect that when you have you are in a zombie apocalypse, that your parents are going to protect you, that you're not going to be alone, and that you hope that they make it just like you and just like everybody else. But you know the reality that everybody will might end up either dead, crazy, or just delusional. So, um, if my parents were zombies, okay, if my parents were zombies, I, I'd have to kill them, you know, because then they'll eat me, in which then would be horrible, but, you know, life, people alive. Um, basically, if they became zombies and I ran into the room and they had, like, they were out, basically, I was in my room. Okay, what if, what if I was in my room, and they were in the other room, and a zombie came in, and they went into my mom and dad's room. And that was the first place they went to. And then all of a sudden, they come to my room, and then they start, rah, rah. and I'm like, who is that? Is it a real zombie? And blah, blah, blah. And then I, I see all my, I know that people, I know for sure that people are going, are going to make sure and call you. They're going to call you, or they're going to text you. Hey, there's zombies. There's zombies, and blah, blah, blah. And then they're all going to be on the social media, even though that zombies are going to be all over the place. And um, basically, you know that if you go outside that room, there's going to be zombies, which means you have to get your weapon. And that means, since this was going on, I basically have this as my weapon. And I have nothing else because basically this thing is telling me that that's the only weapon I can use. So, what am I going to do with this? Of course I'm going to break the rules and I'm going to get a knife. Because whenever, for me, I don't know about you guys, but since I watch a lot of scary movies, uh, I, I get all paranoid. And as in, at that moment, I need a knife. So what if there's a, a zombie apocalypse, right? A zombie apocalypse is going on, and they're right outside my door. And if I wasn't, you know, paranoid or anything, I wouldn't have a knife next to my bed. So I grab my knife. I grab my knife, and I'm like, I'm ready. I'm coming at you. And so I'm getting ready for the door, right? So I open it, and then I, st I slam it right across the forehead, and then I do the other one. And then that's my moment where I first killed my parents. And I, I don't know how I'm going to feel because they're zombies and they're my parents. And so I believe I'm going to go check if my sisters and my brother is all okay. But of course, my sisters sleep with me, so they're going to be fine. They're going to be with me. And then I go into my brother's room, and I believe he's fine. And so, or what if he's not fine, but he's really strong, so I don't know. Does it depend on the zombie if the person's strong or not? Anyways, I go in his room and I check if he's there and I'm, gu I'm guessing he's dead because he always leaves his door open. Um, but then again, I don't know. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just assume he's alive. He comes with me. We start to like check outside and we see people walking around and we see people killing other zombies and... Um, you know, we don't know if they're good people because of the zombie apocalypse, the... the zombies. <laughs> what you want, Anna? My trailer. I thought you were a zombie, Anna. Cierra la puerta, Anna. Cierra la puerta, Anna. So, 
basically that's what happened to me. That's what would happen if uh if my parents I had to like kill my parents and my parents were zombies and everything. Um so the next question. Damn it. It was fine earlier. Would you want an apocalypse to happen? Of course not. I wouldn't want billions of people dying and then surviving in the wild because I know for sure I might not end up li alive. And I don't know what's going to happen to me afterwards. I don't know if you, just because you killed the zombie you're going to go to hell or what's going to happen. Right? I guess that's it. What else can I say to you guys? The zombie apocalypse will end right now. Uh...